Hey guys, this is Ange, um, and I am doing uh, my first box break of Dust, Dust Till Dawn. Uh, Bob and I got a case, and he took the right side, and I took the left side boxes. So let's see if my boxes are any spicier than his boxes. We, uh, know a friend who, uh, a friend of ours actually pulled, uh, quite a bit of spice out of his box, or case, I mean. Um, so hopefully we can, uh, kind of keep that rolling with ours. Let's see. Man. Sorry, I am just on the struggle bus with this today, apparently, so. All right. Let's see, we'll put that kind of right there. All right. How have you guys been doing with your pulls? I've heard there can be really great cases and boxes and then really crappy ones, too, so. Or not crappy, but, you know. None of, like, the big stuff that everybody wants. So, let's see what we got. Uh, charge the brigade. Foil. All right. Um, I'm not sure. Bob and I were talking about this the other day, but I don't remember what he said as far as, um, you know, where the, um, where the L's and everything are in, if they take up, like, one of the rare and majestic spots, um, then the marbles as well, so. Um, I did, the other day, I pulled one of the double-sided marbles, which... That was kind of interesting when I opened the or opened the pack, um, you know, because I opened it and I'm like, I'm like, wait a second, did they flip this side or flip this? Like, what happened? And then Bob's like, oh yeah, it's a double sided card. So, huh. <laughs> speak of the devil, um, here's this double sided card. Did you uh, see what I did there? Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is Soraya, Archangel of Erudition. It's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Maybe I can do that again. Let me let me start talking about like uh, what like the serialized cards. What are the other good ones? Yeah, some of those marvels. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Uh, I would probably shit myself if that happened. And if I'm like, oh yeah, serialized cards, and then I just open one. Um, I have seen some of the serialized ones. If you guys haven't seen them, they're pretty sweet. Um, I would definitely check them out. Um... I'm just taking a hot second to sort out my foils. Sir Bolton. What do you guys, uh, what's your guys' favorite hero to play out of this set? Mm -hmm. We got Expendable Limbs. My favorite hero. Well, I shouldn't say my favorite. The really the only one I play have played out of this set is Levia or Levia. I'm not real sure I pronounce it Levia, but um, I know she's not super great, but she's really fun to play. Um, 
the only the sucky thing is the blood debt but hopefully with this um with this set they kind of fix that a little bit for her so um i'm kind of hoping to get that um okay <sighs> I can't remember. It's uh, it's not a mentor, but it's it's that other card, um, the Levia card that once you have so many in your so many blood debt in your um, in your pile down here. I'm Jesus, guys. I'm sorry. I can't word today. Um, it kind of turns off blood debt, so. Um, that would be pretty sweet to see too, so. That actually happened to me. I played, I played her, what did I play? I played her in, uh, we did like the, we did a draft the other day, the, the Monarch draft and, uh. I drafted her and then I played, I actually think I had like 15, uh, blood debt in, uh, in my exile. So, <laughs> kind of wish I would have had that card then, but. I do have to say though, like just taking a minute, like some of these, like these light foils are pretty sweet. Like the way that they. Like that just, that looks like it just jumps right off of the freaking card there. All right. Sorry if I give you guys a, a head glimpse. I'm real bad at doing that with my cards. Like I always show the little edge there, but that's okay. You guys will know that I pull a cereal before I do. nice to get a nice coal foil too in here. Oof. Not a whole lot. I mean, we got two uh, Majestics, but... Sorry if I got a little high on that last one there. Okay. Got a little brute action going on there. Old numb skull. This is amazing. Oh, okay. Um, so it says while this is in any zone, it's um it's energy or it's resource attack and uh, defense cannot be modified. So they cannot be increased or decreased. That's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I like, I, I, one of the reasons I like Levy is I like having like these cards and then, you know, you boost them. So they like smack people for like 10, 12 a pop. We'll see. Maybe I'm just not thinking about it the right way. Mm. Got a little ice action going on there. Let me pull out my sleeves. All right. Keep on rolling. Do I don't know? Uh, do any of you guys know where like the serialized cards would be in the like in the the packs? Do they take the place of 
I'm assuming they take us a place of like a majestic slot, but um, I don't really know. Or the Marvels for that matter. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Bob and I were talking the other day like neither one of us have ever played Dory but we have a ton of Dory stuff um and he's like I don't know maybe we should just build it we probably have enough to build like a really good Dory deck I don't know why either one of us never has played it this is only a rare but it is the young hero so um I don't know. I just like to grab those when I can, mostly so I'm not shuffling through all these cards trying to find it when we want it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, I know that you guys only care about that card, which I totally understand. Um, however... Uh, there's this diabolic offering that's a foil. This bad boy. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Let me sleeve this right before I keep. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. So this is the the Maus Archangel. Archangel. Jesus. Just got a little rush. Oof. Man. Beautiful. Look at that. Just so pretty. I do have to say, like, the these angels in this set are amazing. Like, just the artwork is insane. As well as the, the foiling detail on it. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I'm super excited now. my serialized maybe my serialized will be in, th in this one you know <laughs> oh that would be talk about a hell of a box you know got this banneret of courage gonna leave this. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. There we go. No, we'll just leave her right in the middle. What am I talking about? It's so pretty. Alright. Four packs. Come on. I mean, I can't complain anything at all about this box right now. Like, that's... Vince and I were talking. Um, some people have opened... He said somebody opened, I think they said, like, three cases. And did not get, like, a Marvel or anything like that. So... 
I feel super excited, super psyched. another cold foil it is it's the shroud of darkness so just a common equipment but still give that one a little see if you guys I, I love the foiling I just This thing, though, man. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know I keep going back to it. It's just, I look down and it's so pretty. Nope, got another diabolic offering. Non foil this time, but. All right. What do we think? We got the serialized? Did we do it? Are we changing our life right now? Like that, that's like life changing money right there. That's if I pulled that. Oh, no, but I got an L, so I'll take that. Let's see. Um,. Soulbound Resolve. Man. Rainbow foil, but still. Well. There we go. There we go, folks. Let's see. Let's see how this, uh, how this box ended up. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. One, two, three, four. No, not that one. We'll go through these again here. So we got the rainbow and the non-rainbow diabolical offering. The banneret. Northern winds. Numbskull. Expendable limbs. And Soraya. She, I bet you she's beautiful in that marvel too. And then we got Themis. And cold foil shroud. And uh... Nice little L just to round out this box. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know about you guys, but I um, think I'm just going to start picking from the left side of the cases from now on. All right. Tune in. Uh, I'm going to be cracking another box here soon. So let me, let's see what we got in that one. See you later.